is the Hubble still a thing? The Hubble's still a thing. Yes, and they it pointed is. it at an asteroid worth echo effect. <laughs> Ten quintillion dollars. <laughs> Let's get it, Ben. Your time okay. to shine, Ben. Wait. Ten quintillion dollars. No, that was terrible. That was like the a megaphone version, a crappy kid at a, <laughs> in a parking lot. Ten quintillion dollars. That was even worse. That's just distorted. Tele- yelling at a telephone. Ten quintillion dollars. That's okay. It's right, big Joe. enough to hang around T-Pain's neck. Anyway, um, <laughs> I covered this actually in an old video that I I, I I called it How to Be a Quadrillionaire. But there's an asteroid called 16 Psyche. I'm saying Psyche. It might be Psyche, but I'm saying Psyche. <laughs> psyche. Um, psyche. <laughs> yeah, you get there and it turns out it's just a bunch of rock. But anyway, um, <laughs> so, so last week we talked about um, the, um, hello, the Baby Columbo. No, no. What was it? Um, yeah, uh, Osiris Rex. Osiris Rex. Good God. An asteroid keep Bennu. Um, yeah, touching down on the asteroid Bennu and collecting material and all that. And we were talking about how they're, how it's interesting how asteroids, they have so little gravity um, and they're just kind of like a loose collection of dust and rock that's just kind of held together by, by basic gravity. Well, this is the opposite of that. Um, <laughs> 16 Psyche is made up almost completely of metal, uh, mostly wow. iron and nickel. But... Um, the reason why it's made up of so much metal is it's basically the core of a planet that was destroyed in the early solar system. Hmm, so no um, the center of Earth is molten, uh, or actually it's probably solid iron. That's a solid iron core. And because those heavy metals, because they're heavy when the Earth is still, when a planet is still kind of liquid, it all goes down to the middle. So it's all collected in the core. Well, 16 Psyche is a leftover core from a planet that was destroyed in the early solar system. And in fact, I can't help but wonder if this is the core to a planet that was destroyed and wound up creating the, uh, the asteroid belt. Cause that's what it is. Oh, cool. Right. Right. So, um, so yeah, it's, it's, uh, Hubble, basically, there, there's not a whole lot of really new news here other than that they uh, were observing it with ultraviolet uh, uh, observations that came back to show that it's like, hang on. They were, they were measuring the UV wavelengths to see how much is actually like iron. Uh, it says, we were able to identify for the first time on any asteroid what we think are iron oxide ultraviolet absorption bands. This is an indication that oxidation is happening on the asteroid, which could be a result of a solar wind hitting the surface. So um, anyway, yeah, um, the iron alone in today's market would be worth 10,000 quadrillion. So I just moved it up to 10 quintillion dollars. Uh, that's a one followed by 19 zeros. <laughs> Jeez. So there is... Uh, going back to SpaceX news, there is um, a, a satellite called Psyche that is going to visit 16 Psyche. It's going to launch in 2022 on a Falcon Heavy, and it's going to go up there and it's going to orbit the asteroid. It's going to take measurements um, around 2026. It's going to study it for two years. And, um, you know, I mean, if we were ever going to mine an asteroid, yeah. this sounds like the one. Yeah, it, yes and no. I mean... The iron is valuable, but, you know, getting all of that, you know, Massachusetts sized asteroid back down to Earth would be worth it would cost yeah, way more yeah. than, you know, than yeah, iron is worth that. But yeah, I didn't mention that. it is the size of Massachusetts. <laughs> <laughs> but at the same time, um, you know, the value of it in space to use as a raw material, you know, for habitats or for whatever you want out of it. Data centers, you know. Data centers <laughs> is huge. Could you just I mean, build satellites in space? Wouldn't that be easier? Like, it, it someday, of course. They're working on yeah. it. Yeah. You're like, why? Why are we launching this? It's you know, because you got it's so sensitive and it's so hard. Like, you know, it's really difficult to get it up there, and not break the damn thing, and you know. Right. Well, that's that's the thing. Is like. You know, someday we could just put like a 3D printer, you know, a 3D smelter, a smart smelter robot thing or something and just start smelting and melting it down and building things right there on the, you know, on the asteroid and then shipping it elsewhere and stuff. You know, that's those raw materials are worth a lot, but I don't know if we'd ever be able to push it back to Earth. That would take a massive 
massive, massive, uh, like, <laughs> yeah, really efficient set of engines, you know. But that'd be that cool. would be kind of hilarious. Like, like, like we intentionally hit our own planet with an asteroid. <laughs> <laughs> and then at that point if we're all if we if we all get extinct it's like yeah we kind of had that coming <laughs> like yeah you know well another a, a more scientific reason to go and check out 16 psyche is that if it is the core of a proto planet that gives us the first look at the core of a planet because like right. we can't see mm. our own core outside of mm. like magnetic observations and stuff like that so it's so actually getting a first-hand look at a at the core of a planet could tell us a lot about how our planet was formed yes yeah. nice. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this clip from our show. If that's just not enough for you and you want to watch the full episode, you can go to olfpod.com slash YT. And if you want more from us, you can consider becoming a Patreon member. You'll get early access to episodes. You can join our awesome community. You can actually watch us record live and get your name in the credits by going to olfpod.com slash Patreon. So thanks everyone for watching. Check back every Friday for new clips here and new episodes on the main channel. Thanks, everybody.